Hey guys, it is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Um, so we got a couple things going on today. First of all, we took this big beast and uh, got it unloaded this morning. Um, we got a couple small things left in here, stuff we wanted to bring back with us. That's a big canopy that we're going to set up out here that we've had. Um, and then just some small stuff. Um, okay, so the cows decided that our water is their water. So they're over here this morning sticking their tongues in the hole there for the holding tank trying to get drips of water out of there. So I'll show you what I'm going to do for that. Got to keep them away from here because my fear is they're going to step on this ball valve and snap that off. Now eventually, um, not today, but probably tomorrow when we go to Home Depot, we're going to get all this fenced in and keep them out of this area completely. But it's uh, we dug out a 20 foot by 20 foot area here that I showed you the other day. We're going to fence this all off, put a row of barbed wire around it. Um, but for tonight and tomorrow, um, I'm going to use that stump. And don't ask me why, but the cows are scared to death of that stump. So I'm going to set that stump up there. This is a piece of our IBC tote that we was using the last time we was out here, or the first time we was out here. Um, I cut the front off of the IBC tote because we don't need it anymore, obviously. So I'm going to put that over the top of it. And then I'm going to set that up there. And that seems to be a pretty good deterrent, believe it or not. I don't know why the cows are afraid of it. So what I done last night is we ran up to Wilcox because there wasn't nobody open because um, it was too late by the time we got this done. We picked up all these little fittings. Um, so what we got here is inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter PVC. That's going to be cut right about here. This is just temporary till tomorrow. This is going to be cut about here. We're going to have an elbow going down into the ground, and then that's going to go down 12 to 18 inches, and then we're going to run inch and a quarter, you know, within reason of the camper, and then from there we'll reduce down because I am going to have a pump on this, but I want to have plenty of volume going through. Um, so what we got here is just a. Um, just a brass fitting that screws into a reducer here and then I can screw my garden hose on here and what we've been doing or what we done last night I should say not what we've been doing um, was we took the garden hose you see it all spruled out right there I got it disconnected right now because the stupid cows were walking over it um, so we just hook the garden hose up to that open up that two inch ball valve and we can fill the holding tank on the camper which lasts us like three days and that's just like I said just for now until I get the pump and stuff hooked up but we have got water We've got about 1,600 gallons in here right now. He's going to come back out today. Uh, about 1,500 gallons in here right now. He's going to come back out today and uh, go ahead and top it off. I told him I wanted it full on the first shot. So he's going to fill it all the way up today. <laughs> so we got that going on. Uh, let's see. Second thing, well, I got our batteries out of the truck. So I got our batteries set. I am going to get some more batteries, but I got those four for right now, and they do a pretty good job. Um, for right now, our gray water is just dripping right there. That is not sewer water. That's just gray water just dripping there from the tub and, uh, and the sinks. Uh, got to do something until we get the four-inch pipe, pipe ran down. That's the wash machine, which I am working on right now. We're going to get the wash machine hooked up. Tomorrow, when we uh, go to Home Depot, we'll be picking up a shed. We'll probably be setting the shed right in this area here somewhere because it's the most level and we don't have to do as much work. And then the wash machine will be going in the shed for the time being until the house is built. So what I'm doing is, this is the IBC tote. You remember it had the big plastic tank in there. I got rid of the tank. I threw it down in the dumpster, broke it up. Um, I just cut the front off of the IBC tank or the tote. And I'm going to set the wash machine up in there. And then when we put it in the shed, as you can see, it'll be off the ground about six, eight inches until we get a floor in the shed. Cause I don't know if we're gonna put a floor in it right away. Cause we're gonna get a, either a metal shed or one of the shed in the boxes just so we can get something up quick. Um, eventually we're building a 10 by 20 shed, but that's probably gonna be about a month or so before we get everything out here and get that done. But so this is gonna be temporary, but that'll keep our wash machine up off the ground for right now. Cause I don't want it down on the ground. And plus it'll be in the shed, so it'll be protected. So that's what I'm working on now, trying to get that fixed up. Got the front cut off now, I just gotta get it moved around, get the washer set up on there. And she wants to do a load of laundry today. Um, also tomorrow we'll have to stop. Uh, when we stop at Home Depot, we'll be picking up a some four by four posts so we can put up some clothesline. We wanna put up a clothesline out here. Um, no point in running the generator when we got a beautiful breeze out here and plenty of heat so um just gonna hang them out that's gonna be the easiest way to do it so other than that take that thing back tomorrow that's going back to sierra vista 
So we're gonna get all of our running in Sierra Vista done tomorrow because that's like an hour's drive. So we wanna do everything at one time. That's why we're not going today to get the shed and all that. We're just gonna do it all tomorrow, all at the same time. So that's what's going on. Um, I'll try to get some more video while I'm doing this or when I get it all done, I'll show you what we did, but I think you kind of get the gist of it. But So that's how we're gonna do it for now for temporary. There's Donna. She's gotta clean out the U-Haul. So I wanna show you how dippy I am. So you see that blade? Yeah, it's a wood blade, but that's all I had. So I'm trying to use this, this was earlier, to cut off the front of that IBC tote. And then I started thinking to myself, self, didn't you buy an angle grinder? Yes, I did. That took about what? That took about 10 seconds per side. That I bought with for 15 minutes I don't even know what I was saying I completely I've never in my life owned an angle grinder and I don't know why and I finally bought one before we came down completely forgot I had it so yeah so anyway there's my blunder for the day all right I gotta get back to doing this I gotta probably uh, I think I'm done with this now so I'm just gonna move it around back and try to get that um, wash machine set up in there but it's starting to sprinkle a little bit but it sprinkles like every day we only last for a few minutes so for right now, I'm just watching Donna work. You gonna take that out today? Yeah, and, and play with it and see if you can find anything? Yeah. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I got sidetracked. See all this desert grass hanging up here? This stuff's really sensitive on my delicate legs. So I'm gonna take the weed eater and go down through here and clear this path out going down to the camper there with the old trusty gas weed eater. Clean that up a little bit, it's driving me nuts. It's temporary. Wash machine setting in there, nice and level. So now when we get the shed, I mean, we probably won't even use it today. She said she probably ain't even gonna do any today. We'll probably wait till tomorrow. So like I said, we'll get this area here leveled out. I don't even know if we're gonna have to level, it looks pretty flat. But anyway, I think that's where we're gonna set the shed for right now, just temporary. Because when we build the big shed, according to my site plan that I turned in for our building permit, it's gonna sit pretty much in front of the holding tank and I did that on purpose. Did it for two reasons. Number one, to hide the holding tank a little bit because it'll be a 10 by 20 and then, you know, eight, 10 feet tall. Well, 10, 12 feet tall probably with the roof. So that'll hide the holding tank pretty good. The other thing I'm gonna do with it is the shed is gonna have a shed roof, which just means it's high in the front. It sits like this, it just slopes to the back. We'll have a gutter across the back and then that gutter is gonna catch rainwater which is gonna get pumped into here, or piped into there. So um, we'll be able to catch the water off of that. The house is gonna set about where the camper's at right now, right in that area-ish. Um, I gotta do some measuring so that I'm right with the site plan that I turned in to the county. So um, it'll probably set right around in that area. And then that will also have a shed roof on it. And that will also catch rainwater, which will go down in the ground and come back and we will catch it in here. So yeah, that's the plan. All right, so now, next thing, first things first, we got water. I know it's kind of temporary, but we have water and we were able to get water. Amazing. So as you can see, I've got the flex line hooked onto our sewer here. So what we're doing now is around front, I'm gonna clean all this crap up later, but around front, we're gonna start digging because as you know, we already have our septic put in. Hey, look at her digging. I like it, her digging. Go, Donna, go. Good job. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Here's the septic. Here's the septic. There's our connection right there. So we need to go to there. So what we're gonna do, because the house is gonna be forward of the camper, 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trench up to about where Donna's at, and then we're just gonna run our flex line out. Okay, so we're digging our trench. I think I got cut off when my phone rang earlier, but anyway, we're digging the trench for the septic up to there. So this ground is hard as a rock. So as you can see, you see what we're doing? Using the truck. All right, I'm gonna try to set you up so you can watch. It's too hard. Well, I mean, it's working what we were doing, but it's taking too long. Water line or the hose, I mean, hooked into the tank. Run down here. Look at Donna digging again. She's always working. Got it ran into our sewer line, the garden hose. Got it down in our trench. And we're just letting it kind of glub out here. It's not coming out very fast, just a little bit. We're filling up the trench with water and it's softening the soil a lot so you can see here we got down to dry ground again as soon as you hit dry it's just uh... right, and that's our four inch line there we got to go into the septic with so this is what we got so far you see it it's getting there it's getting there let me go see if i can find that frog i let go we found a frog with green eyes. I swear he had green eyes. I'm not even kidding. I put him over here somewhere. Hey, where'd I put that frog? Where'd I put that frog? Yeah, I'll probably never find him. He was in the ground. He was in the ground. We was digging and he come up out of the ground. I'll, I'll post a picture. I got a picture of him. All right, just want to give you an update. More digging. All right, last video for this video or the last piece of this video. Got our trench done. <clears throat> I don't know if I showed you guys, but why we were doing the trench, we went, ran the water line down and just let it fill up the trench here. That way it softened up the dirt. This stuff was like rock. So we got the trench all the way down, down to here. And there's our line where we gotta connect in tomorrow. Going into the septic. So that's it. And yeah, it's short of our, short of, oh, just stepped in a hole, short of our uh, camper, but we did that on purpose, because like I said, I think I might have told you before, the house is going to be, you know, kind of in this area here. So we're just going to run flex line from our, we've got two flex lines to run from the camper over to here. I'm not going to run it clear up to there, that's just pointless. So we're just going to run it to there, and we might, you know, as time allows we're going to dig a small trench just to lay the pipe down in so it's kind of ground level but we're not going to bury the trench there's or bury the flex line there's just no point um, but we do want it down below the ground or even with the ground at least so we're not tripping on it so we got that done today we got the u-haul undone today got it unpacked we're going to take it back tomorrow donna's in there say hi donna Donna's in there cleaning up all the sand that we drug in all day because our feet were our feet were muddy. Well, not muddy. They were sandy from wet sand, so we were dragging it inside with us. Uh, so we got that done. Oh, and I got that solar panel right uh, there. Got that solar panel put. I just temporaried it right now for tonight. But I got that put in, and that's running that light right there, which is an auto off. Um, it's on now because I'm moving around, but as soon as I get away from it, it'll click down into low mode. So we got that done. Uh, that's our, that box there is our canopy. That's like 12 foot wide and like 20 or 25 foot long. So when our son gets out here, he'll be over in that area. So we'll probably put the canopy like maybe out in this area here, just so we have some more to kind of gather and set out, you know, in the shade. Um, but oh my god, it was a beautiful day you guys. It was absolutely beautiful. It was like 86, 87 degrees. No humidity, cool breeze. Huh? I done shook it out. Yeah. 
All right, so is that it? I think that's it. I think that's it for tonight. So I'll put this video together and get it uploaded for you guys. See you next time. Say bye, Donna.